We're working on Tommy Sled tonight, but we got some special guests with a they need to use a special tool. All right, Todd and Trenton, welcome to the shop. So uh, we're back on Tommy's sled tonight, but Todd came over. He wanted to, he was going to borrow my uh, my tool for the master cylinders, but it's such a quick job. It's like, why drive here, take the tool home and come back? So we're just going to do it, put them together. He's not putting me on his channel, though, so you guys all go over there and leave some comments. I don't know what's going on with that. We're going to hang out and learn something tonight. <laughs> all right. <laughs> All you're going to learn is how easy this is, if you if you have the tool. You're going to have to get Tim to make the tool for you. We're heavily impressed about this sled I'm leaning against right now. Heavily impressed. Oh, thank you. It's just <laughs> and, and a bunch of old parts. For everybody that's wondering who the special guest is that's going to come over when we finally fire this thing off, it's Todd. We're coming for the ceremony lighting party. Yeah, probably <laughs> Tim, yeah. Brad, I don't know. We're going to drag it outside during daylight hours whenever we finally light it up. I don't think Tommy's going to get anything done tonight because me and him have already been jad-jocking since I walked through the door. Yeah. All right. It's so, all good. We'll get some. We'll get some breakage going so we can at least stop with the sled. So. Yeah. And good. this is the point of the channel. We're just showing you the fun we have in the shop. And here you go. I'm it's putting, another night. I'm putting a little gap in between. You might be able to see something fun. Yeah, that's going to be added very soon. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we did, we did pull it out. Pull it out and talk. Let's talk about that quick. Yeah. We can't neglect this. So, uh, about f about <laughs> five years ago, I spotted this sitting on a RXL, a 78 oh, RXL that like Timmy Dahlbeck and I built for a racer back in 1986. And Rick Bates built this tank. And I spotted it back then, and I asked the guy if he would sell it to me back then, and he said yes. So You're not going to tell him who the guy is? Less pins. So we went for a visit and this came home with us. So the Rick Bates tank and like the Marlon Englert seat is going to be my tribute to Team Englert on this sled. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Very and uh, for the patrons, I, I didn't take any video of Les's Museum for anybody because it's been done and done and you can just go out and search on YouTube Les Pins Museum. But Les let us in his back room. And uh, the lighting wasn't very good, but the patrons are going to get to see that footage and see what Les's back room looks like, which is actually as big as or bigger than the museum. But you'll have to join Patreon if you want to see that. Parts. There's yeah, a lot of parts. cool stuff. Lots of parts. There. Yeah. All right, we're going to get at it. Let's get her done. All right, I'm over here rebuilding Todd's master cylinder for him. And certainly Todd could do it, except for I happen to have the special tool. I'll bet you Tim will make one for Todd, though. You are a special tool. I'll have to put a request on <laughs> What you got here, Lonnie? <laughs> we're still, we're trying to match up a chain, the right chain for the, oh. for the gearing Yeah, on Tommy here. just brought over an assortment of chains. And, uh, so far. Trenton's got, helping out by holding the shaft. We got one that's really long and one that's going to be too short. All right, Trenton, so I know you're the real tech wizard of the crew. Sometimes the spring falls out, so you got to kind of do this all in a horizontal configuration. And you do a little hula dance, and you get the cup in. Well, that's way easier. That's it. Yeah. He <laughs> <laughs> just shakes his head. <laughs> Sometimes you got to come to the professional for the easiest things. <laughs> I knew there had to be a tool. And then I looked in the Polaris service manual from vintagesnow.com, mm -hmm. which is free, and sure enough. That's why the mechanic good. makes the money, right? He's yeah. No, got all the tools and the knowledge. The I have some of them service mail, the big the big Bible service manuals, and yeah. it's amazing the amount of tools that they show you in there. It's crazy. It's, it's more than just figuring out how to put something together. It's the tools that they show you, too. Yeah. Away Some we custom out. fab there. Okay. Oh, yeah, we geez. took the tunnel extension off when it had a 144, mm -hmm. and we we're going down to a 121. So we bent up a piece of aluminum, and this will get mounted. Change the handle on this one. It's gonna look nice. 
trying to find a new one yet. Good to go. We'll come back when Lonnie has Marv some, used some to success. Have a bunch, but I think Marv sold we found another chain. Do, 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 do. I'm a... You gonna get it? This is super interesting video. <laughs> We're almost through our first beer. I am. Oh well, Monty, better hurry up so we can turn on the camera even, and grab her out. I haven't even tried to drink a beer. Come on, top on that thing. What for How about some puppy time? That's <laughs> but there ain't a whole lot for adjustment. Okay. Yeah. You like yeah. that one? Yeah. Taut, it's taut. All right, then. Less resistance. No adjuster needed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cut. Here's a patron moment. Here's a, here's a YouTube teaching moment right here. Look at this belt tension. That is all you need. You need just enough to keep the belt from coming off. The pulley will turn. There's, like, no resistance. If you go banjo string tight, that's how you kill your water pump. Sometimes they just die anyways, but uh, don't be the one that kills it. These guys, Tommy? Oh, there we yeah. go. Tommy's putting his uh, back panel on. I made this thing up today. Where's my cardboard aid at drafting? Right behind you. Right behind me? Oh, I don't want to show my dirty desk. We'll get this out. So you can see I did some cardboard aid at drafting here. Got the old grain belt box and cut it out and bent up a, a rear flap and went to a place where I had access to a shear and a brake and made a little clothes off for Tommy. Cardboard aided drafting, it's the best. Try this. Yeah, probably. All right, first look. Looks pretty good. Somewhere in there. Yeah, I don't mind that. I mean, uh, we're far enough forward. We got get plenty of room. And this is back far enough. I can get my old fat ass back on it. You know, you know what your mistake is. You put the tunnel clothes off on before you drilled the holes to for the seat hole down. Oh no, they're drilled. They're drilled already. <laughs> oh well, that's good. Here's some foot pegs I had on my Z1R when I crashed that Roy's repair, so they're going to be put back into use. <laughs> nice. <laughs> do, the, do those fit white high tops? Yes. If you look at. Uh, Facebook, there's a post right now at Forest Lake, and it shows me on the open fuel sled wearing my white high tops, and then I'm on my drag bike wearing the same leathers and the same white high tops. I, and, of course, my wife made a comment. I think the most famous is uh, the PSI video that they can find on YouTube that you're in wearing white high tops in 1995 or 6. I'm going to have to look that video up. He's going 140. <laughs> In white high tops. See, my dad's going 165 on the tar with white high tops. What are you doing, Lonnie? Uh, well, we got the secondary on. Yeah. Uh, got the belt mounted, so we. Yeah. Yeah, we got the secondary on, then we check the alignment. Everything's good. Yeah. So we're all bolted up, ready to go. Got a belt on there. So you, you have been learning stuff. I think that's the first time I haven't checked the alignment thing. myself. We're we're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> Hang around, hang around the speed shop long yeah, enough, man. you learn that thing or two. Pass. You giving out speed secrets? The camera's still rolling. <laughs> He's whispering. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I take very good care of that belt. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the next thing is, Tommy would like me to rebuild this caliper. Or build. I've uh, never rebuilt a caliper before. How hard could it be? Yeah, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> We're gonna find out. What could possibly go wrong? We're going to try to rebuild this brake rebuild. caliper. I have never rebuilt a brake caliper before in my life. Not for a car, not for a sled, not for anything. A bit of an experiment. So, I got a leather glove I'm going to put in here. Hopefully not cut it up, but hopefully it catches the piston. And hopefully this works. Oh, that piston ain't moving. Oh, boy. We got nothing out of that piston. All right. Well, we're going to go to the vise next and try to rotate the piston to get it to start moving. There you go, then. Push it up. Yeah. Can I get it to move at all? Can I get it to turn at all? There we go. 
Oh boy. What is it? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> that ain't rotating. Oh, oh there, it did. there we go. We it broke did. it free. I saw it. I saw it move. There she goes. Feels like it's got sandblaster sand in it. Ah. All right. Figure. Let's uh let's give this a try again. I'm not sure we get enough movement out of it over there, but we can try it. It's broke free. We're going to give it a little try. Well, it moved a little. It started to go. Yep, yep. Hmm. It popped a little. I guess we'll try that again. Back to the vise. If at first you don't succeed. How's it? If, if at first you don't succeed, what do you do? Get a bigger hammer. Get a bigger <laughs> hammer. Get a longer pry bar. Longer pry bar. What was that, Dennis? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. I see movement there. She's definitely turning. Hmm. I think we uh, we need some... Uh, some uh, nature's best. Some lubrication? Oh my god. Yeah, we're gonna spray it right in there too. Give her some lube. Ooh, that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hope you missed the tooth. There you go. Well, it's uh, starting to feel a little better. Gotta get this over by you. It's starting to free up. I'm imagining that you are correct that there's probably some blasting residue in there yeah well she's turning better i wouldn't say it's right. free but it shouldn't be free it shouldn't be free no so but it should be free enough that that air should pop that piston out right well that's the goal eventually you got to get it out there she goes. there we go Ta -da! Good. Let's see if i can get my glove back uh, nope speed. <sighs> hmm <laughs> All right, push the piston back, get the glove out. Do it again. Well, we'll, we'll just run it out a little. For a lot. Hmm? Chucky. Chucky. Seems to be it's supposed to go through that hole, and it seems to not be aligned. Well, it it, it may it may have popped it may have popped out it's, of that hole. It's a little bit though. off center. We're gonna get on the back. I think we can. I think we can force it to line up. That's the goal. We're gonna find a little soft hammer action there. There we go. She's loose. All right. That's what she said. That's not what she said. Yep, there's sandblasting sand in there. Yep. All right, we gotta pull her off the slider now to get the piston out. Really, we gotta pull it off the slider. <laughs> to get the sandblasting sand out of the slider. Okay. Yeah. okay. All right. So other than the sandblasting sand, which you can see right there, there's just this seal in here, and that's clean up any corrosion, put it back together. That's all it is. Lube and, it's, the, and it's rebuilt. Yeah. Lube the seal. Lube the seal with brake fluid. Yeah. That'd all be right. a good idea. So uh, let me get my pick out, and we'll get the seal out. All right. Here's the new seal. There's no orientation. It's just a square ring. So uh, we'll just get that old seal out and we'll start hosing stuff off with brake cleaner. I like the idea. <laughs> all right, we got all the sand cleaned out of this. Uh, you can see we, we took off all the fittings and everything. There's a little corrosion in there. I'm mostly worried about in the bore here. Not shockingly, it's at the bottom. Uh, I'm not going to try to too hard to clean out the groove. I'll try to do some scraping. But uh, I'm going to get into the bore there with some scotch Brite, So we'll show you the results. All right, I got the caliper cleaned up. So uh, here's the results. There's a little staining, but all the big crusties are out. Here's all I use to clean it up. A little bit of scotch Brite, a little 90-degree pick. This is the seal that came out that gives you an Ew. idea. Yeah, she's pretty gross. This is the one that's going in. So uh, we'll bring you right back, and we'll get this thing together. <laughs> all right we're gonna rebuild this caliper now so here's the old o-ring here's the new one 
it had some dust on it. I wiped it off. It's super easy. Um, you just put it into the groove and it's really not even going to fight you because it's so soft. Um, press it into the groove all the way. You want it, don't want any like wrinkles or bubbles, right? And then you do have to lube it like all O-rings and there's only one lube you can use. So with a decently clean brake fluid, brake fluid. whatever brake fluid you're going to run, that's what you should use. So with a decently clean finger, get that seal good and wet. Lonnie cleaned up this piston. It's perfect. We're going to give this a little lube because everything goes in better with lube. That's what she said. Including brake components. <laughs> so let's see. Wrap it through the hole and press. Press. That's about all you could do is press. Maybe give it a little twist. Not exactly. It's not exactly square, based on where. Well, I it's a it it's here. a press fit. Yeah. No, it's it's exactly square. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get my C clamp out. All right. So I don't think it's gonna go back in very easily by hand. So. We're gonna do a little C-clamp action on her. That's little nice. Mechanic. The C-clamp goes. A little mechanical assistant. Goes right to the bottom. Oh come on! Oh, it's riveting. Right as I was about to fade out and fade in, we're there. All right, so we're gonna square it up real nice, and then she just goes right in. It's just a little more than finger pressure. That, that's it that's it we just rebuilt a caliper we just rebuilt a brake caliper nicely done oh, there it is. all right we dug around the shop and we found a set of used pads can you see how much meat is left on those but tommy are you going to use these pads much <laughs> tell them the golf shoes story tommy how fast do you stop with golf shoes? A lot quicker than in just tennis shoes. But no, I never did wear the golf shoes. <laughs> <laughs> he does have a pair of golf shoes with spikes hanging in his shop, and they say Barker's Racing on them. And uh, apparently you'll have to wait until he gets into the Hall of Fame one of these years to hear that story. I don't know. Maybe, maybe go up to the ride with the champs and ask him there. All right, what are you doing there, Nutter? I'm putting this bracket on for the third time. Because you got it upside down and inside out and it, uh, backwards. Yeah, yeah, so the opening has to go towards the piston, not the closed end. I did that, and then these nubs have to be down when it's installed in the sled, not down when I'm putting it together Which right now. Which means they should be on the same side as the opening of the brake pads. Yes. Okay. So it's not very difficult to do unless it's th Thursday night in Nutter Speed Shop, and then apparently it is. <laughs> so there we go. All right. All right. So is third time is the third time the charm? Third time's the charm. So you don't know that yet. Closed, yet. closed end out here. These nubs down. And then spread the okay. pads open. Drop it on. All right, here we go. Third try. Uh, you got to put it this way. And then you got to turn it the right way. There you go. Slide it around until those nubs drop in. And look at this. We got brand new shiny bolt. Sweet. Nice. Oh, wait a minute. That's the wrong one. We're not even going to lock it down because we got to get the right yeah. guide for this. Yeah. yeah. This is the guide for the old style, so we'll just, uh, you it know. It does fit for time being. Well, we'll just unthread it somehow. I know it unthreads. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> How's that working out for you? There we Yay! go. Yay! Yeah. Yay, the crowd's on its, it's off. I didn't ride the struggle bus at all. They're leaving. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Tommy, Here what's going on next? Line. We're going to have to uh, get that brake line off of there, right? Yep, but... We don't oh, have a fitting in there yet, so we probably want to take that back off to put this fitting in there. Use that fitting. Ah, ah. Oh, right. Well, that's why I didn't tighten these. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. This is the old one. We're we just were, gonna. We're just giving a demonstration. 
Oh, oh, two, that was take this fully off demonstrated. Or this. Correct, but I take this off, then this. Yeah. There's an order. And what do we do with all that brake oh, fluid? Oh boy, I need a bucket. It's gonna come over that way. Hold well, on. you don't want to drip it all over your motor? Probably not. Probably not. I think we're gonna want to. I gotta put this glove too. away before Daisy steals it. Yeah, uh, she already took mine. One. Did you put a plug in the? Brake light switch hole too that we talked about? Uh, no. Let me see if I have an eighth NPT plug of some sort. The butt. Okay, is this thing on? I don't know. All right. Can you knock what this we... out of here? Everybody's got their hands full right now. Right. Show them what you're doing with your other hand. So I got. I'm holding a brake line with this hand. I got parts. Tommy's got parts. Tommy's that, got what's parts. Dennis up to? Keeping gloves away from the, oh, the dogs. Yeah, so the Keeping dog doesn't get the gloves. Easy. Oh, yeah, and drinking beer. And the important, beer. yeah, the important stuff. And the Teflon that we put on isn't necessarily so much to seal it, just as to make it slippery when you're tightening it down so that you can get a little tighter. Yeah, we like it when it's slippery. We like it when it's slippery. And tighter. That we do. <laughs> All right, I'm about to round the corner, so we'll call that good. Uh, don't Lonnie that. So Tommy's digging in on the skid. He's almost wrapping it up. But it's a beer and pizza moment with the patrons, so let me put this on the tripod because uh, I'm getting some pizza while it's still hot. <laughs> so uh, thanks, patrons, for the pizzas and the beers. We really appreciate you guys. Uh, everybody else, once again, patrons are getting different videos that you're not seeing. I'm not saying they're full length episodes, but they're getting some pretty good stuff that you're not seeing. So you might want to think about that. All right, Tommy, what are we marking out there? We're going to add another set of wheels to the front of the suspension. And uh, you got them placed so that the wheels will be right behind this. It won't hit. Correct. So just in case, just in case Tommy's hitting those giant bumps at a hundred plus miles an hour. We don't want to bottom out the skid. So uh, these are what we use. Uh, just Polaris blocks. We just salvage them off old skids and then these wheels with these sleeves. Hang on. Ready? All right. So it's 9 o'clock. It's quitting time here. Um, you know what we did because you just watched the video. And then no, we don't really want to talk about it. It was a lot of work. We did. The, we got the skid together again, mostly. Um, decisions were made. Todd made a really good point about these giant rear wheels. Um, they kind of open up a possibility of derailing because we've actually got the back of the rails up above the guide nubs on the track, the drive lugs. So Tommy's going to try to find some wheels that are about an inch shorter. Not quite an inch. Yeah, but whatever in yeah. the ballpark uh we're gonna take it from seven and a half inch wheels down to something something. something something like six yeah like six and a half ish right. so um that's that um you saw everything else we did it was great having todd and trenton here tonight um you know just a regular thursday work night we had a good time i think did you guys have a good time yep Turn it a wrench, man. It's yep. getting close. It's getting closer. The brakes will be get, done. It's next getting close. session. Uh, we got to find that brake fitting. In. I'll get that brake fitting. Find some little wheels. We'll work on the lubers. Yep. yep. Get the get the tank mounted. Yep. The tank. Yeah, the tank. The straps are cut for the tank. And yep. I need some. So yeah. So there's your preview of the next episode on this sled. <laughs> we're right? and and when we get that stuff done, we're actually pretty close to firing it up. I think. I don't know. Todd says he wants to come back when we fire it up, too, because nobody loves crackling triple pipes more than Todd. Oh, yeah. Everybody loves them, though. Loves the well, pipes. Yeah. Triple. All right. We're kind of we're kind of winding down for the night, so big thanks to the patrons. Uh, you guys are the best. Everybody else, the patrons make a little donation every month, and they get some behind-the-scenes videos, like I mentioned earlier, and they get their name up there on the screen. Anyways, you, you know the benefits they get. And uh, everybody else, hit subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. If you're watching this on your TV, go to your phone, open YouTube, 
and subscribe on your phone because nobody knows how to subscribe. I can't, I can't figure it out. Nobody knows how to subscribe on a TV, but if you oh, subscribe you on your phone, move your mouse like beep beep beep. beep well, you <laughs> if you have a mouse, your, your TV, TV has TV. your TV yeah. has mouse. Your, I don't your, know. Well, your for mine. I gotta go up and turn that. If your TV out. is yeah. on your wife's account. <laughs> Go to your wife's phone and subscribe. <laughs> oh. In fact, just, hey, sub no. just subscribe your wife's account anyways. We'd also. appreciate it. <laughs> All right. We're signing off for the night. See you on the See trail. See you when the snow falls.